Yo! Welcome back. Um, today, we got some things going on. So, got a package right here. My lightweight battery and bracket came in. Um, so I'm about to pull the battery out of the car, bring that in. I just went out and bought a scale. So we'll weigh that battery, weigh this, see what the difference is. Um, and there's nothing really special about changing the battery out, like tool-wise or anything. Um, but you do have to go into VDCS or OBD11 and update um, the battery information so it knows how to charge the battery and whatnot. So we'll do that. I'll go over that. Um, what else we got going on? I'm in the middle of tuning, uh, getting a retune with my boy Frank Mabotech. Um, yesterday we did like six revisions. I'm um, now with the, those new spark plugs and those NGKs, I'm not seeing any timing pull at all. I am so happy. The breasts were giving me timing pull up top consistently like it wasn't anything terrible like negative like 1.8 to 2.3 ish but with these absolutely none so we turned the boost up we went from 28 ish to like now 31 ish and he said on the virtual dyno take it with a grain of salt on the virtual dyno is showing from the tune i had before i got deployed to the current tune that's in it at this very moment 47 wheel horsepower and that's with like no timing in it my timing slider is at zero so um, he just texted me, well he texted me a while ago and said to add a degree of timing and go do a log. I just ate lunch, I was working on another buddy's car earlier. Anyway, all this stuff going on. So we're about to throw this battery in, go do some retuning and then I'm gonna go find a truck stop and get the car weighed, see what the car sits at currently before we do the brakes and some other stuff so it's coming in a safe weight. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, and I'm going to do the turbo blanket tomorrow. And this video is going to go over a, a, about a week. I'm about a week ahead of videos already. So uh, I'll pick the camera up a week after tomorrow and let you guys know how the battery's doing. I did buy a trickle charger just in case I won't be driving the car for a couple days. You know, coronavirus and stuff. There will be days I don't have any reason to go out other than just to take a drive. Whatever. Um, but it should be pretty exciting. I'm really, really excited to see how much weight... Um, from the battery to this battery. Now I don't have the battery that came from the factory, but it is an OEM size battery. So it still should be like, my guess is 48 pounds. And this battery is 15, but you gotta add the bracket on there. So we'll see. Let me go pull that out and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully most of you guys know how to change your battery. You got 10 mil, 10 mil, 13 mil down there in a the bracket that holds it in. And then uh, we'll just pull the battery out. Simple, simple, simple. Now we can just beat this baby out. Take off this cover, throw that in the attic. I'm gonna leave this big battery on this trickle charger. Um, probably put it on you know, every week or every other week just to keep it maintained. I'll probably put it back in for the winter when it comes next year. Let's see, my guess was 47. Yeah. 35, wow, okay, it's a little bit better than what I thought. 35.2, not terrible. The big boy. All right, and we'll, uh, I haven't even taken this out of the box yet, so we'll unbox it, check it out. Some terminals. Oh my boy. Got it all in here. See, I thought the battery and the bracket were coming separate. So the tracking I had was for the bracket. I didn't know it came together. Nice. All right. So. This is the brand Mele, I guess, M-E-L-E. -E. Um, they sell this kit on EQT's website. Maybe like uh, eight, nine days to get here, so there you go. And this looks very nice. Oh crap, 
It's already in the bracket. Of course it is. Oh, so there is a bottom on it. Neat. Hardware. And some books. All right. Let's get you a close-up of this. Look at that. I didn't even have to put it in there. That's some real nice, like, etched on there. And it's a, everybody has their own actual number. Wow, this fits in there snug. It's got a baby amount of play. You got a little, there's a pin in here. It'll keep this. So, nice. We'll throw these terminals on and then uh, throw it on the scale. Dope. Super dope. All right, so this is a pretty neat design. You just got a five mil Allen down in there. You kind of see it. Tighten them babies on there. So with the battery bracket itself, I was confused on how it actually mounted. Cause you know, if you ever taken your battery out, the, the battery hold down bracket is this beefy thing, right? With the 13 mil. And it kind of like slides up against the battery and locks in place with this and that little end right there. Um, so we don't use this. We actually don't use that at all. So I'm gonna place that to the side. Actually, I'll set it with the battery. So I set the pulled the battery out of the mount, placed it in here. I'm gonna clean this up. It's real nasty back there. So you can see the hole. There's a hole right there that lines up. That's where that bracket I just showed you goes. And then the battery box itself has that that, that, that holds, or the battery tray, I guess. That holds it down. So we'll clean this up. We'll pull that guy out, and then the, the two, they give you hardware to replace that, and they're Allen keys. I think it looks like a five and a four. And we'll tighten those down in there, throw the battery in, hook it up, and then grab OBD-11 and change the information we need. Oh, I guess I'll, I should weigh it before I, I should do that, huh? <laughs> All right, so grab these at the hardware in there. So we'll weigh everything. Sixteen point two pounds. Nice. Get a picture of that real quick. Well, like I said earlier, it's a four mil in the back, five mil in the front. I'm looking something like this. Clears up a bunch of room. That's gonna look really good. Too bad it doesn't have a blue top on it. <clears throat> Anyway, I need to clean this up. Grab this bad boy, orientate it the right way. Make sure not to touch your terminals. Boom. Oh yeah, it fits on there good. We got power. These are sitting straight as I want them to be. Close it up. Put the pin in. Boom. I think you can get like little, because there's threads in these uh, terminals. I think you can get caps to make sure that your uh, terminals aren't able to pull off the top. I think that would look pretty nice. And there's like knurling on this, on these terminals as well. So you can like, really position these uh, these wires any direction that you want that looks good even being red or orange reddish orange blood orange it looks good in there it looks really good and this little thing makes it you know, just pops right out boom boom nice thoroughly impressed we shaved what it was 35 pounds to 16, so we saved 19 pounds of change, almost 20 pounds. So 20 pounds right there. And we should be saving 70 or so with the big brick kit. So right there, I mean, that's 100 pounds off the front end. That should, that should equate to quite a bit. You're taking off weight up, up higher and weight down lower. Um, and the car should be a little bit more balanced now since I took the back seats out. The 100 pounds off the front and the seat, the back seats, I think, together weighed like 110 with all that junk. So nice. I still, I want to get the car corner balance. I'm glad I didn't waste the money doing it yet because we're shaving weight off the front. So now we'll go in, we'll get the coating done, 
and uh, start the car. Now, if I'm not going to be driving in the car for a couple days, you want to have a battery tender, especially if it's chilly out. I mean, it's barely the second day of spring, so I got the this on my buddy's um, battery right now. But when I'm flashing new files or whatever, I'll just zoop, zip it right around to the car. Be good to go. This was like 30 bucks at Advanced Auto, so it's to automatically charge the thing, and it'll, it'll let it discharge and charge. So. I should be able to keep my old battery here on it like all summer um, until the winter again when I'll swap back. You probably don't want to use this in the winter. I'll probably try it as long as I can just for shits and giggles unless I get a daily by then, which I probably will. So we'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. But I needed, uh, I needed that anyway because I literally had to buy this battery like just a couple days ago. I got back from my deployment and uh, the guy that was supposed to be washing my car, thanks Jess. Um, he was unable to do it. He's busy. Everybody's got lives. He lives like an hour away. I could have asked other people, but whatever. But yeah. So I had to buy another battery. This battery, as you saw, what, 36 pounds, cost just as much as this Odyssey battery, which was like 150 and weighs 15 pounds. And I'll have the link down in the description. You can buy it on EQT's website. I think the battery and the tray together was like 330. It's not too terrible. And you can get the battery and make your own bracket. You can get like a bracket kit done at AutoZone for like 20 bucks and make it work. I just wanted something fancy, something good. Well, really, it was supposed to come in blue. And then they emailed me and said it would be like five to seven weeks to get a blue one. And I was like, nah, ain't waiting that long. So here we are. Anyway, let's get to this. Let's get to this coding. Shout out to Savage Panda Projects. He is actually a subscriber of this channel as well. And uh, I'll be going off of his video to code the new battery. Got the trickle charger on. Let's get her done. All right, so load up your OBD-11. Hit the button. Boom. I'm gonna go down to, where's she at? Right here, gateway. Boom, adaptation. Boom, battery adaptation. Boom. Once you get in here, you can plug in all your information. So, um, battery technology, sweet, all types of cool things. I think it's just a wet battery. Yeah, it's not anything crazy. I'm going to bring up um, the specs on my battery so I can go in here and change everything. Get the battery serial number in there. Uh, manufacturer, we can do O. D Y Odyssey. Okay. Oh, link with O D Y. Boom. Rated capacity. Yeah, we'll figure this all out. I'll get right back to you. So this is what I changed the values to. The 20 hour rated capacity for this battery is 16. Battery name, you only use the first three. O D Y Odyssey. Uh serial number. There was just a random serial number on there, so I put it. It did have like the date in there, 2016 sometime it was made. And it's 2020, that's whatever. And it is an AGM battery, so I changed it. It doesn't have like a just AGM option. So I looked it up, and people are using the binary AGM option. So, boom. We will... And adaptation accepted. So, now, I have all the dash lights on because I just switched batteries. So, we'll... Starter up here, get these codes to go away, and now I'm gonna go grab my laptop, uh, turn up the timing a little bit, go for a drive, warm the car up, warm the car up, do some data logs, and uh, see where the rest of this day goes. I'm glad I finally got this battery in. Oh, and if you're wondering about the big brakes, my um, I ordered CarboTech AX6 Auto X Auto X Autocross uh, specific pads from CarboTech for these Brembo brakes that are going to go in and they will be here Thursday. So um, probably Wednesday night, I will start pulling off all the old brakes, get the car up on jack stands, pull all the brakes and um, put water bottles on the brakes.